Well, welcome back to Morning Break. Tea comes in many flavors and is used for a variety of reasons. This Sunday is International Tea Day, so this morning I am joined by a local herbalist and owner of the Four Seasons Apothecary, Jamila Miller, to show us how to make our own teas at home, and how to spice up what you're already doing in the kitchen, because I know a lot of you are drinking teas. We're going to check back in on our question of the day in a little bit. Jamila, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. We've been geeking out about teas for the past five minutes. Yep, yep. Um, I'm really excited to yes. share our no your knowledge with everybody. Um, tell me a little bit about what teas you have for us today and what we're going to be making. All right, so the tea that we will be making today is actually an herbal coffee. So this is roasted dandelion root. I had a lot of customers that were just asking for a caffeine alternative. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is that. Uh, I roast these roots myself. Um, and you can put them in a French press or if you have a regular coffee machine. Since the roots are kind of thick, some customers just grind them up very fine and they strain them through their regular coffee machine as well. The other one I have is called the Mellow Herbal Tea. So this one consists of three different herbs. Yeah, I'm gonna flip these around so people can yes. kind of see a little bit of the inside of them. Yep. So the mellow herbal tea consists of three different herbs, which is lemon balm, holy basil, and motherwort. So all three of those herbs are just known to calm, soothe, and relax the nervous system to help you ease into a good night rest or sleep. Yeah. And then the next one I have is mullen. This is a fan favorite. So mullen is a tea that is great for everything respiratory related. Okay. So anything related to the lungs, you have a dry cough, pneumonia, um, children with croup, um, just anything related to that, this is great and it's an expectorant. So it helps you cough up anything that mm. is stuck. Ooh, that sounds like something that would be good. Yep. Oh, a lot of seasons of the year. That's one you need in your cabinet all year long. Definitely. For sure. I keep it on hand. We were talking earlier about the difference between loose leaf tea and bag tea that yes. we get from the store. Kind of tell people about the benefits of loose leaf tea. So the benefits of loose leaf tea, you get more of the herb or more plant material, which means you get a more flavorful cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And especially when it, it, as it relates to like a nutritive herb that contains vitamins and minerals, you're able to get more of that vitamin and mineral content in that tea as opposed to a lot of the tea bags, which are kind of ground up very fine mm -hmm. and small, so you're not getting as much as you would. Perfect. Well, let's start making this tea. Tell yes. me again what we're make what um, tea this is. This is the roasted dandelion root. So this is what I consider to be my herbal coffee. I don't drink coffee, so um, I love this. It tastes just like coffee. It has that very bitter taste. You can add um, your milk to it or your cream, some honey, sugar, whatever you like. It's a great support for the liver and a great support for the digestive system. Awesome. And we're going to be making it today in the French press. Perfect. How much of this do you think people would need in order to make a cup? So I make this for myself and my husband in the mornings and I do about three to four tablespoons. Okay. So for this one cup of coffee here, I'm going to do like one full, like one and a half uh, tablespoons. Okay, perfect. Yep. Going. And while she's doing that, I want to see if we can pop up your website really quickly so people can know where to find you because yes. I know this, these aren't just the only three teas you have. Nope. I have several products and services from syrups, um, wellness tonics, tinctures. Yes. Awesome, awesome. And are you just online or do you have a physical location? I do not have a physical location. Everything is done via um, online. So I ship all throughout the U.S. as well. And I also try to participate in as many uh, like farmers markets and local events as I can. Perfect. Okay, guys, as soon as she added that water, well, I could smell it in the bag, but as soon as she added the water, it just has this, like you said, like a coffee, nutty, roasting, mm -hmm. um, Oh, aroma. Yep. Very strong. Yep. I love that. And as you can see, it's getting very dark. Very quickly, too. Just like coffee. Awesome. Yep. So we put in, you said how much of the tea? For one, for one cup of coffee, yeah. about 
one and a half tablespoons. Okay, perfect. And yep. then we added hot water yep. and then we kind of let it rest for a little bit. Yes. And then what do we do? And then after that, we are going to press the strainer down like this. Okay. It strains everything out. Awesome. And you get your coffee mug. I think one of my favorite things about drinking tea is just getting a nice mug that fits perfectly in your hand mm -hmm. and just breathing in all the aromas that yep. come with it. Yep. Perfect. And this is some raw local honey and a spoon. So if you'd like, you can go ahead and sweeten it okay. to your liking. We'll just add a little bit. I never want to add too much because I want to still taste yes. the tea. Yes, yeah, I'm the same. But just enough. Perfect. What would you say your favorite tea is that you have other than this one? Oh, my favorite tea. I'm going to say the mullen because it's just yeah. whenever, you know, I have three children. So like whenever any kind of cold or anything runs through my house yeah. and it's upper respiratory related, it's like my go-to, mm. yes. There's nothing about like, especially when you're not feeling good, maybe your throat's a little sore. Yep. Having some tea just makes everything feel it better. It does, always does. Awesome. Even during the summer months. Yeah. Yeah. Add a couple of ice chips in there too, if you want some iced tea. You can. Still Lemon balm the... iced tea. Yes. Oh, yes. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me and thank making you. some tea. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. And I hope you guys all participate in International Tea Day on Sunday. Well, coming up, we are shining a light on one local distillery that's keeping the Low Country spirit.